Angel. I won't forget you. <sighs> There's nothing so peaceful as a cuddly friend's picnic. <laughs> oh, goodness, Rarity. What's the matter? Oh, a better question would be, what isn't the matter? Oh, dear. Do you want to have some lettuce and talk about it? Uh, oh, I would love to, darling, but I just don't have the time. The Cantalot Royal Fashion Show is practically upon us, and the cornerstone piece of my collection just isn't working. Well, that sounds serious. Oh, it's serious. The entire collection is designed around it. Do you need help knitting? I've started making tea cozies. It's an elephant. Yes, well, I don't need help making clothes. Sassy Saddles is pitching in. Plus, I'll be pulling all three of my Manhattan assistants. All three? Does that mean you'll have to close Rarity for you? That's just it, darling. This is Manhattan's busiest shopping season. And I can't just close the shop. So I was hoping you might consider running it. Of course. I'm happy to help. Though, I'm surprised you picked me. Well, I may have asked a few others. Sorry, but we've got a Wonderbolt show coming up. Sorry, but it's pie season and the pie rooms are piling up. Sorry, I've got a curriculum to make up. Nope. Nope. <laughs> My calendar's packed, but I hear Fluttershy's free. And you haven't asked Boulder. Uh, uh? <laughs> it doesn't matter who else I asked, because I couldn't be happier that you agreed to help. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? I think I forgot how big this shop was. How do you find anything? Oh, darling, it's easy to track. The store is divided into sections. Chic, classic, modern, sophisticated, avant-garde, traditional, and obtuse. And, of course, each section is divided by season, color, and price. It's a classic SCP system. Then it's just a little ring and ponies up. A little fluff and fold. But of course, that's the easy part. <gasps> it is? Mm -hmm. As you well know, the real focus at Rarity for you is on the customer. Care to give it a try? Um, okay. Hello. Um, welcome to Rarity for you. What can I help you with? I need something classic but modern, something with drama but also understated. Um, aren't all those things opposites? Yes, so? But how can I... I'm sorry, are you asking me how to do your job? No, but I just, um... If I may, I'm thinking noir-esque minimalist, but with a twist. Perhaps a tapered hem. <gasps> it's like you read my mind. Are you a fashion psychic? The inseams say yes. <laughs> wow, you make it look so easy. Oh, darling, come now. You've conquered your shyness a thousand times over. You can't let a few fashion ponies undo all that progress. Well, I guess not. You simply must access your inner strength and allow it to shine through. How? Uh, daily affirmations? Meditation? Ooh, power posing works wonders whenever I feel intimidated. Try these. Confident warrior. Gold medalist. Show pony. Mm, 
Or not. We need to leave now if we're going to catch the train to Canterlot. Oh, goodness, look at the time! Yes, 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 go! Go! I'm right behind you! You're not gonna be here? In your workroom? But, darling, I simply can't. The fashion show is in Canterlot tomorrow, and I'll be up all night, even with the help of all of my assistants. <clears throat> well, not all my assistants. Smokey, soft pad, Smokey Jr. <laughs> Ever since you convinced me to let them live in the shop, these beastie sweeties have been nothing but helpful. And I'm sure they'll help me let my inner strength shine through. Oh, I wish I could stay and offer more help. <gasps> Why not try a new outfit? Think of it as the costume for your role as shop pony. You know what they say, clothes make the pony. Um, who says that? You know, them. All right, I'm sure you and your furry friends will do just fine. Ta-ta! <sighs> I hope she's right. Whew, here goes nothing. Welcome to Rarity for You. What can I help you with? What's the thread count of this shirt? I can't be seen in anything less than a thousand. Um, thread count? Um, oh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Um, excuse me for just one second. No. I'm afraid I don't know enough about fashion to satisfy these customers. What am I gonna do? Oh, I've never tried to act before, but I suppose it's worth a shot. <clears throat> Severe, but not unapproachable. Acceptable business attire. Oh, does that sound like a shop pony to you? So sorry for the wait. The shop has some staffing issues today. Yes, well, I still haven't had an answer on this thread count. Here at Rarity for You, our merchandise defies typical attempts to quantify its quality, but rest assured it will make you the envy of all who see it. Oh, in that case, I'll take three. Smokey Jr., I can't believe it worked. I suppose clothes really do make the pony after all. I don't know about you, but I have a full day of shopping planned. And if even one shop pony isn't up to my standards, well, I shall make my displeasure quite plain. Oh, you are wicked. <laughs> can't a lot fashion show or no. I simply can't leave Fluttershy to fend for herself with these main hat nights. Rarity? Oh, darling, I'm afraid I can't stop. Potential emergency at the boutique. Oh, well, whatever it is, I'm quite certain the pony you left in charge can handle it. Oh, she's simply divine. Oh, well... I always knew Fluttershy had it in her. <laughs> and there's still time to catch the train to Cantalot. It's a unique play on the old standard. We call it a rarity cup with a triple cross stitch hem and a guacamole chevre pattern fabric. Don't you mean chevron? If I had meant chevron, then that's what I would have said. <laughs> of course. It's so unique. So in vogue. everyone, but I feel like I should push the snootiness further. If you really want to help, I suppose serving tea would be nice. Oh, if you don't mind. Uh, 
I like my accessories bold and shiny, and I'm just not seeing anything nearly bold and shiny enough. I'm afraid bold and shiny won't work with your whole model. Perhaps pointy. Pointy? Yes! I must have pointy! Not every pony can pull off a found object, but you nearly get there. I need, like, a red carpet glitz and glamour gown that's also casual, but, like, still artsy and a total head-turner. Yes, casual chic prêt-à-porter is very branché this season. Uh, like, I don't understand any of that, so, like, I don't care about it. Um, one moment, please. <laughs> I think I need a new character. Okay, I've got like this high key savage look for you. It's a totally live ensemble with the little like thingies that sparkle and make the whole squad go, whoa, that pony is woke. That is like exactly what I need. This store is a desperate wasteland of nothingness. Do you have anything in black? Can you, like, chill for one sec? BRB. <laughs> it's not like the futility of shopping can be made better with black leather and metal studs, but they help. Uh, that jacket completes me. <laughs> It's cheese like lukewarm. It's barely drinkable. This tea must always be at a precise temperature. See that it doesn't happen again! Whoa, that color is like almost too lit for you. The blackness of this vest is a reflection of your soul. This hemline is nothing short of an inspiration of crafts ponyship. Are you sure you deserve it? <gasps> I don't know what's worse, that you've spilled the tea or that it's still Either get it right, or go back to the forest! Ugh. It is so hard to find good help these days. Okay, okay! Slow down, everyone! I'm doing my best! So... Rarity is busy at an important fashion show, and Fluttershy is running her shop in Manhattan, but to do it, she's playing different shop pony characters that are all mean? How in the world did you figure that out, Spike? I'm not a Dragon Charade champion for nothing. I can't imagine Fluttershy would ever be mean to her animal friends. This sounds serious. Spike, tell everyone it's time to head back to Saddle Row. I wouldn't think it was possible to make something so dowdy, even more matronly, but here you are. It's like a scream in the void, empty and ultimately meaningless. I would seriously help you right now, but like, I don't wanna, you know? You are kidding. This is worse than we thought. She's being horrible to every pony. Uh, are you sure that's even Fluttershy? Maybe it's just three really, really fast ponies that really, really look like her. Well, let's find out. Hey, Fluttershy, are you running the shop or performing in a one-pony show? If you don't mind, I can only improve the taste of one customer at a time. You have to wait your turn. Oh, uh, honestly, these small-town ponies come to the big city and think they can behave any way they please. What? You are a small town pony, and your cottage isn't even in the town! Look, Fluttershy, we came here because we were worried and we care about you. 
Let's get out of this aura of positivity before it consumes us. As fun as this Fluttershy switcheroo game is, Smokey Smokey Jr. and Soft Pat are really concerned. Yeah, they came all the way to Ponyville to get us. They should have, like, stayed there. This shop is like a no rodent zone now. <gasps> she called them rodents? Fluttershy, I understand why you think you have to act this way for these customers. But there's got to be a better way. Goodness, you are so right. Please, step this way so that we may discuss your concerns. I knew you'd come to your senses. Indeed. Oh, the centerpiece of my collection and it's still not right. Oh, darling, I'm afraid we've literally run out of time. It's up to you. Go out there and sell it. Now, attitude! <laughs> Understand. When I left Fluttershy, she had everything well in hoof. Well, things might have seemed all right when you left, but they're definitely not all right now. She's acting worse than the worst Manhattan that I ever saw. She kicked us out of the shop. She called Smokey, Smokey Jr. and Soft Pat rodents. <laughs> Rodent? Why didn't you say that from the start? She obviously needs help. Come on. Your melancholy is way too shallow for a look with this much unfeeling depth. Huh. Ugh! Your style isn't even on the same page. Turn away. Don't even look at it, okay? <gasps> I can't even. I think not, dear. This is all too fashion forward for the likes of you. Oh, well, I never. <sighs> Told you it was bad. Bad? This is worse than I could have possibly imagined. Rarity, I'm so glad you're here. Finally, a pony who understands that the couture in this shop is far too brilliant to even consider selling. What? You like totally get how lame customers are? <sighs> Watching them leave filled me with a sweet sadness. And you'll be pleased to hear that I've taken care of your rodent situation. Will somebody tell her to stop saying that? That's it! Fluttershy, I'm afraid you've left me no choice. You are terminated! Well, good luck replacing me! <sighs> well, thankfully I... <laughs> I always thought she was too controlling. You, you, you are terminated too! Whatever. Now I... <gasps> I know, right? I mean, uh, um... Uh, actually, you're, like, totally terminated as well! Like, okay. <sighs> well, I'm glad that's over. <gasps> I guess I owe every pony an apology. <sighs> you think? I got so caught up trying to please all of your customers that... What customers? I might have taken my sales pony characters a little too far. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. You know I was only pretending, right? But Fluttershy, why did you think you needed to be some pony else to run the shop? I guess acting like the ponies of Saddle Row gave me the confidence to interact with them. Darling, I'd never trust some horrible Saddle Row pony to run my shop. That's why I wanted a friend to do it. Well, I'd definitely rather be myself anyway, even if I don't exactly have what it takes to be a shop pony. I wouldn't sell yourself short. Those sales pony characters all came from you. Yeah, I think you totally have what it takes. Maybe a little too much. Indeed, you have all the inner strength you need, but I think we prefer it coming from our sweet, regular Fluttershy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's just given me the inspiration I'm looking for! And last 
last one? There! The missing piece for my new collection. The warrior of inner strength. Oh, it's lovely, Rarity. I'm just sorry you had to leave the Canterlot Royal Fashion Show early. Oh, darling, making the perfect dress is scads more satisfying than showing it off. Oh, oh yes! yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Ooh, striking dress, Rarity. I certainly hope you aren't trying to undercut the royal fashion show by ducking out and debuting it here. What? No, I, I have you considered the possibility that the royal fashion show is trying to undercut rarities by continuing on in Canterlot and not moving the whole affair here? Hmm? Have you? I, uh, no. Huh, just as I thought. Mm. Oh, <laughs> inner strength. <laughs> <laughs>